Hello, I'm Bill Deccan. I'm the chairman of the philosophy department here at Sherman College, and we stick to the principles and major tenets of the chiropractic profession in our program. And a big, a big part of that is understanding the importance of communicating the big idea. Now, B.J. Palmer called it the idea. Chiropractors turned it into the big idea. But that is, if the brain cell up here can communicate to all the various individual tissue cells or body parts of the body, then you have normal function. You are at the top of your game. If something were to interfere with the spinal cord, with the nerves going down the spinal cord or the nerves exiting from the spinal cord, we're going to call that a subluxation if it's caused by a vertebra that occludes an opening and puts pressure on those nerves interfering with the mental impulse. Now you have an abnormal situation. The chiropractor comes in and uses his or her hands to help the body's innate intelligence make this adjustment back to normal. We call that restoration. Palmer called that restoration. Chiropractors are in the restoration business, helping people restore proper function. If you have a problem down here, it's because you're in a state of dis-ease. You're not having proper function. You're not having proper harmony or coordination, as Stevenson called it in his book. You, you're in a state of dis-ease. Chiropractors help you return to a state of ease. And that's the big idea. Whether this is a problem or whether you're experiencing a problem you know about with symptoms or not, this needs to function better. In the business world, when the administration can communicate with the workforce better, you are in a state of ease. In the human body, when the brain can communicate with the body parts, you are in a state of ease. Athletic teams, when the coaching staff can coordinate the whole team better, you're in a state of ease. And that's why chiropractic is here to serve everybody. Get the big idea and watch everything else fall into place.